just overjoyed to, on behalf of the people of the city, welcome uh, the two teams here, all of the fans that are going to come, and you, the media, who are going to talk about the city of New Orleans uh, to the rest of the world. I really want to begin by thanking James and Mary for uh, helping co-host the committee, uh, and for Jay Cicero as the executive director for the heavy lift that they have done, and also to Rita Benson of Law, uh, and to Tom Benson and to Gail and the entire Saints organization for the incredible work that they did to bring the Super Bowl here and to Commissioner Goodell uh, and to all of the owners for having enough faith in us to bring this bowl back here. And finally, uh, a lot of thanks to the people of the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana and to all of our partners who have worked over the last two years to really put on uh, what we hope to be one of the best shows uh, that we have seen in a long time. But the story is much, much bigger than the Super Bowl. This is a story about the resurrection and redemption of a great American city. A short time ago, this city was 15 feet under the water, and it was on the bottom of and last on every list that mattered. And you have watched a people uh, pick themselves up, dry themselves off, and take, take, start taking one step at a time to rebuild not only their lives, but to rebuild uh, a community and to do it in a way that we think is the model uh, for the rest of the country. The Super Bowl gives us an opportunity uh, to reflect on where we've been and where we're going, uh, and to use the Super Bowl and to use sports and entertainment and culture uh, to help rebuild an entire city better than it ever was before. And I trust that uh, as you get through this wonderful week, you will spend a lot of time getting in around New Orleans, talking to the people, uh, feeling our culture, understanding why New Orleans is such a unique and beautiful place. And I have no doubt that what you will come away with is a profound sense that the people of New Orleans have found that very thing uh, that America has been looking for for a very long time in terms of resilience and just a can-do spirit to go from where you were to where a place where everybody in the world wants to come and visit. And so I want to welcome you all here. I know that each one of these other individuals will have something to say, and we look forward to hosting you uh, and giving you the best Super Bowl that you've ever had. Thank you very much for being here. Rita Benson of the Blanc. Absolutely. I just want to open again in thanking you all for being here and investing your time with us. But uh, it's a great pleasure and honor for my family to host this game. And Super Bowl is, is always top of mind. It is the preeminent global event, sporting event. And there's no other place that hosts it like New Orleans. Uh, Fine for the Super Bowl started well before the Florida owners meeting where we were actually awarded the 47th Super Bowl. But I cannot tell you how tough and stony those owners' faces were because I believe they were all biased and yet how joyous they were when we actually won. Uh, after Commissioner Goodell announced no team has won in the first vote as a super majority, we won in the second. That speaks about saying, I've never seen that happen in my experience with the NFL owners. So we owe a great depth of thanks, and all of New Orleans feels that because of what we went through and what we were able to do to put ourselves back together. My family invested in the city. Every person who came back to New Orleans personally invested. It was very tough for us. And winning the Super Bowl was, of course, a great triumph, but this was one of those things that we've all been looking forward to and working very hard together because we knew it was something that the entire city and community would put together uh, on our own. Granted, everyone took faith, the Houdat Nation, in terms of the Saints winning the Super Bowl and bringing it back, but we did actually win as a community this event before that happened. And we celebrated at a Wild Sea concert, which is a local volunteer organization, and actually the Sports Foundation of New Orleans, which Jay heads and is a reason why we're such a great city to host Super Bowls, that came out of that program. So every story that you track down, every story that you tell the entire world is about community engagement, volunteerism, and people who really care and love about their city. It started 20 years ago at the YLC and the Sports Foundation, and we are privileged people to be a part of that hard work that goes behind an event. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a miraculous thing to be a part of the NFL and to, and to show what you can do. And some people might think that that's a little Pollyanna or a little bit positive, but it's real. And I think you will be inspired. I think you will be well fed and love that. And uh, I have a belief that if you feed the media well, they will certainly say good things about you. So we endeavor to do that. I haven't delivered king cakes to everybody, but the setup is with this morning. I definitely brought some food along. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for this. And uh, our host committee, the different layers that go down, all the volunteers, you are representing and messaging an economic development story that means a lot to people, their real daily lives, and we are so proud to have you all here. Uh, now, Jay, Jay Cicero. Thank you, and uh, uh, I'd like to thank the mayor for his leadership in all of the projects that you uh, may have seen around town from your arrival at the airport to uh, 
the new streetcar, which opened for business uh, this morning to the general public. Um, it's just been an incredible uh, three and a half years leading up to this moment, and, and a lot of times uh, people the media often saying, no, you can't, you can't, but you know what, we did. And it, it's been a real team effort. And James likes to, say, he likes to say it's my team and we put together a heck of a team, but it's not, it's our team. And it's been, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to, to serve in this role, not only under this, uh, uh, this, well, this mayor's in office, but uh, with this group of people. Uh, uh, James and Mary have been incredible. Um, incredible spokespersons for New Orleans. Um, and uh, when we signed them on, we had no idea the Saints were going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, but it really uh, all lined up, and, and we were able to start promoting all the great things that were happening here. And uh, they've, been, they've been fantastic in that role. <clears throat> I'd be remiss if I didn't thank some of our, some of our great supporters in the community. Uh, Entergy Corporation supporting everything that's happening in the community, including our Super Saturday of Service, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, Chevron uh, sponsoring all of our volunteer efforts. Uh, we had over 17,000 volunteers uh, sign up, recruited and sign up to be a volunteer. Uh, and that's actually a lot more than we've ever, uh, than, than we need. We had 12,500 shifts that are filled by 6,000 of those 17,000 that signed up. I can tell you, uh, serving on the host committee in 1997 and as the executive director for the 2002 Super Bowl, we struggled to get to the 5,000 volunteers that we needed, but there's a whole new spirit in New Orleans, and that spirit is driven by the millions of volunteers who came and helped us worldwide uh, seven and a half years ago uh, and, and in the years uh, after that. It's just been an amazing turnaround, a great attitude, and, and, and like the mayor said, a very can-do place now, uh, which it may or may not have been like that before. I uh, also uh, want to uh, recognize Team Gleason and Chase uh, and invite you to a, a, a press conference Wednesday uh, uh, with, about that event. Uh, uh, Steve Gleason's opening up an ALS center here uh, uh, and is raising a lot of money. It's an incredible story. And, incredible inspiration to all of us. Uh, this, the uh, host committee has taken on a couple of new events uh, this year uh, compared to what we've done in the past and maybe compared to what other cities have, have, have done. Uh, we've, uh, we've started this event called Super Bowl Boulevard. So those of you who were in Indianapolis last year and had Super Bowl Village, uh, this is an extension of that except that, is, that it's all in the world um, and, and inclusive of, of Super Bowl. Uh, there'll be uh, uh, four music stages, uh, 15 to 20 uh, New Orleans uh, food booths. Um, the NFL Network's going to be uh, broadcasting live from underneath the pavilion at Waldenburg Park. And the Roman numerals uh, will be on a barge, and they will arrive at 7 p.m. Thursday night on a barge uh, in the river. Uh, and of course, the Roman numerals have the, uh, the incredible NFL films uh, video uh, broadcast on them and the music. and. Very inspirational and, and gives you goosebumps if you're a football fan. Uh, our, 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 our biggest event in the community is our Super Saturday of Service. Where we are taking five uh, New Orleans Recreation Department facilities and renovating them. Now, this is a partnership program between the NFL and uh, the host committee. Uh, and Chevron Corporation put up a lot of money, uh, matching money for, uh, for the city. So the NFL awards a million dollar matching grant to NFL host cities usually goes towards youth education towns or YET centers. Uh, because we have a YET center, because we posted so many Super Bowls here, the NFL asked, what, what program, what legacy program would you like, uh, like us to participate in? So still having a, a, a large need for uh, NORD facilities, we naturally suggested uh, NORD and, and, and putting money towards that. So it's a $2 million overall effort, five NORD facilities, the most exciting of which is a, a stadium called Harrell Stadium, uh, which uh, I'm told, Archie Manning told me that his kids actually played there. Uh, and the mayor played there also. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure he played against them, but uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, we're gonna actually move the Superdome, Super Dome, Super Bowl game turf from, from the dome after the game, ship it directly to Harrell uh, Park, Harrell Stadium, and begin installing it as an incredible legacy program for our kids. So 
Um, I, it, it's, an, it's an incredible piece of, uh, uh, of legacy. Uh, the NFL was wholeheartedly behind it, and uh, we were very happy that the New Orleans Recreation Department and our youth can have uh, uh, these five new facilities uh, for many years to come. Thank you, Jay. Uh, Mary Madeline, followed by James Carbo. Uh, welcome, and as the mayor and Rita and Jay have already alluded to, there is more than one story in the city here. We're going to have a great game, we know that, but there are so many other things that will interest you for your profession, and you should know, if you probably do know this, Sam told us on the way in, that this is, the number of media here have, is record-breaking. And Mark and Sam and Allison over there, um, and everybody else, I don't want to leave anybody out, but you guys, this is not in my talking points. Mark gives us talking points every day. But they, they live and have lived for the past three years to make your experience incredible. So have an incredible experience. So my point is, you, you know this is a wonderful place to have it an event like this. It's a wonderful place to visit. We did Mike and Mike this morning, and they said, what do you like about it? You can't even answer that question, what do you like about it? Well, it's 7 o'clock in the morning, it's 74 degrees, and you're in a t-shirt, so it's a great place to not just have this event, this event but visit for anything. We have, the greatest decision we made in our lives uh, is to live and work here. I was a little concerned about having my girls in proximity to James's college record. Tell us you for 11 years, but we're. <laughs> uh, the Jay reminded me of the the uh, who dad that when we won the the day before what we became a who dad nation um, was the uh, election. It literally, James and I don't often weep over the same things. But Mitch Landrieu was elected, and the reason we've been able to be not just the comeback city, it's not just a comeback story, this is a push ahead. As the mayor said, there are so many models here for the whole country to not just revitalize uh, urban areas, but to push ahead and, 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 and make progress that is unprecedented. So we're, we hope you get to cover some of that stuff, You'll, and we're certain that you will enjoy all of the stuff that we've done. And we, in addition to the legacy and the pushing ahead, we've discovered things, uh, elements here that heretofore hadn't been noble to us. We're now, we know we're the LA, we're Hollywood South, we're about to become Silicon South. We're, we're, we've discovered all sorts of techies, James and I still call the internet the interstate, we're, it's beyond us, but there's a, we are, uh, and there's all sorts of applications that we've developed here with our homegrown developers, and the one that I'm very excited about is the one they've made for you to help you be able to have the incredible experience that Mark and Sam and Allison have worked all these, all these many years. So, welcome, have fun, you can get crazy because you can walk everywhere here too. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 more appropriately, you can stumble wherever you want to uh, again, canoes to Saints, who obviously wouldn't even be here without them, and uh, very professional people to work with, and the mayor and the city have been just delight. I couldn't imagine them going better, but I'm a little bit reminded of the story that a guy jumped out of a 40-story building and was passing a 20th story, and somebody said, how's it going? He said, so far, so good. <laughs> so I guess I'm passing a 20th story, it looks pretty good, but I, you know, we got we got to get till Sunday, and I, I think we'll... Everybody feels like we for a long time. Uh, I'd point out something in this age that dollars matter. Uh, in Dallas, uh, put this event on for $38 million. Indianapolis did it for 25 We're doing it for 13 And I wish that I could tell you that it's because we're just so much more efficient when it comes to something like that. I think that is part of the answer, but only part. The truth of the matter is, is that we don't have to create anything in New Orleans. It's here. It's been here for 294 years. We just have to take what we have, as the mayor does, shine it up a little bit, add a little something here and there, but 294 years of history and culture stand on its own. And our philosophy from the beginning was that we needed minimal intervention. How do you have a place with more history, more beautiful, such a setting, to have an event like this that we have here in New Orleans. And so we are really, really proud of our city, and we're really happy that you're here. 
And we want you to understand that this is not just a city, this is a culture. That we have our own food, our own music, our own social structure, we have our own architecture, our own body of literature. By God, we even have our own funerals. All right? We do. We do. It's a part, of, part of our culture. So we want you to enjoy that, and we want you to know that it was a deliberate strategy to let our city that we love so much shine. And we needed minimal intervention, and we don't have to create anything. It's 300 years in the, in, in the making. So uh, welcome, and uh, from all of us, we're delighted to have you here. We're ecstatic about having this event back. We think it is the premier event in the country. We love hosting it. Uh, we're all football fans. I went to the first Super Bowl in Los Angeles with my cousin who lives here in New Orleans now. I went to the first Super Bowl in New Orleans and I saw uh, Hank Stringham. And by the way, somebody, one of you sports writers tell me how in the hell Johnny Robinson is not in the Hall of Fame. I'd love to know the answer to that at the time, but I'll just let that go because I don't carry grudges. Uh, but thank y'all, thank y'all very much. Uh, and we do hope that you enjoy not just our city, but our entire culture. Thank everybody in the state for all the Thank you, James.